Okay, uh, I'm gonna throw a picture up here and I'm gonna analyze something for you. Now this is very different. This is taking ballet out of the context of ballet. So the picture, this is uh, Conor McGregor. He's very, very famous. You probably have heard of him. Mix MMA fighter, right? Professional fighter, a huge celebrity in his own right. Now take a look at his body, right? And this is an example of how ballet is a brilliant cross-training tool, but it doesn't go the other way. And I know people don't like to hear that, that ballet, certain exercises given in a certain way with a certain emphasis is just a brilliant cross-training tool for other sports and endeavors, but it doesn't work the other way. It's just, so ballet is, as I've said before, the fundamental science of human movement. So now look at this picture very closely. Maybe we can blow it up a little bit. So you'll see he's left-handed. Look at how much bigger the left side of his entire body is. His entire body from the, the, the shoulder down. And so if you look at, for example, from his neck to his shoulder, his left shoulder, his left shoulder, there's way more distance there and bulk than the right side of his body. It looks shrunken, right? The left, the whole left side of his body, you can see his lats, it's shifted over towards the left. His left leg is bigger and shaped differently. His left calf is shaped differently. So if you were to split him down the middle, aside from his face, just right down the middle, it, it, it's two different sets of muscle development, right? So he's lacking symmetry completely. Now, as, as brilliant as he is as a fighter, he could be much more efficient than he is by creating symmetry. And that's created by these first four or five exercises, plie, Ton du, ton lié, you know, in all the different directions, rond de jambe, that kind of thing, relevé. Not given in a ballet context, but given in a, in a, in a sport context, that movement's movement anyway. But just look at that for a minute. It's, it's, it's once you, I think, once I point the, the fact that I pointed these things out, you can't unsee it. Now he looks completely, he's lacking symmetry completely. And this affects his ability to move efficiently, you know. And with fighters, like any athlete, one of the, particularly fighters, though, the biggest challenge that they have is their, well, they would call it cardio or their gas tank. They run out of energy. They run out of breath and energy. And this is one of the reasons, because they lack symmetry. And he's just the most famous one in this picture, just shows it perfectly. That's why I've chosen him. But just study that picture for a, a bit, you know and tell me what you see. But what I see is the left side of his body is one body, person's body. The right side is very, very different. And the more you look at it, the more you, you it's, it's stunning that he hasn't noticed it or his trainers haven't noticed it, or if they have, they don't know what to do about it. Uh, and what to do about it is ballet completely, right? Anyway, tell me what you think.